Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. This time we have Milka Raspberry Cream. Um, not sure if this is available in the UK, I think it's, uh, well basically I ordered it from uh, online. Um, so maybe I'll get it in the UK, but uh, I don't see it knocking around. Um, but yeah, I think you can basically see what it is. Uh, it's a Milka chocolate with um, a sort of a creamy centre with a raspberry. A raspberry flavour at least, anyway. Um, it looks quite nice. I like the pur purple, one of my favourite colours. I like the uh, purple wrappers for Milka bars. Mm. Which is a milker is owned by Mondelez, which also owns Cadbury now, so um, uh, essentially some of the bars share, well basically some of the milker bars also have the Cadbury branding in the UK, uh, but I don't think this is one of them. Um, so yes, so uh, yeah, so there's quite lots of different milker brands actually. Seems to, The Cadbury ones seem to have all disappeared, but there's loads of milker ones still, so um, a bit frustrating that, because Cadbury's are really good about two or three years ago and they've lost all the really good flavours and they've kind of changed them to a lot of bland ones and milk or shared ones and um, yeah so they kind of lost a bit of the Cadbury's magic. Um, I know there's a banana flavoured one. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah so a uh, lovely, uh, yeah it's a nice looking bar. So I'll say strawberry cream, let's see if there's any blurb on it. Now it's, um, let's see is there any English on the side? Let's see, just, uh, oh there we go, no, nope, yep. Yeah. Alpine milk chocolate with raspberry flavour filling and raspberry filling. Okay, so we've got raspberry flavour filling and raspberry filling, so... Nice, yes, so it's 30% uh, so like raspberry flavour filling and 20% uh, raspberry filling. So, not bad, I don't think. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing because sometimes, you know, um, the flavour, you do need the concentrated flavour sometimes to actually make it taste like what you want it to taste like. Because if you just include, it's like with almonds really, if you if you use like uh, ground almonds in something, it doesn't actually taste like almonds, but if you use like almond essence, then it does. So I don't think it's necessarily something to be worried about. But yes, um, okay, let's do a bit of measurement before I go on. So yes, 18 and a half long with the flourishes. And do the width, why not? So seven and a half wide. Yes, I think it looks quite nice, really. Um, yes. Just a bit of a there. Yes, yeah, so it looks, um, yeah, it looks a nice looking bar, I think. And I quite like the little detail here. So it's not really red as such, is it? Raspberry colour, but it's a uh, nicer colour. Um, so it's a 100 gram bar. So calorie wise, it uh, does give you per 100 grams. So I'll give you that first. 510 calories, uh, 20 grams of fat, 17 of which are saturates. Um, but fortunately, it does give you a fifth of a bar, which is good. So that's probably, uh, I think it's, I'm not sure how many chunks there are in it. So we'll work that out in a minute. But um, a fifth of a bar, 102 calories, 5.7 grams of fat. 3.3 of which are saturates. So it's not too bad. So I think the square's a bit funny in this one. I think it's a four by one, two, three, four, five. Four by five. So I think it's four squares is a fifth, I think. We'll find that out in a minute. Okay, so uh, let's uh, give it an open, I'd say. Try to open it neatly, so, uh, so obviously I can put it away <laughs> without eating it all. Um, Okay. So I'll just give it a measure. Wow, it smells very nice. There's a lovely smell coming from it, actually. I wouldn't say, hard to say for sure if it's raspberry, but uh, it's a very nice smell. <laughs> so yeah, so with the uh, without the flourishes, it's 15 and a half. I imagine the width is still the same. 7.5, yeah, 15 and a half. So it lost about three centimeters, I think. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a bit, uh, a bit melted here, so I'm going to be careful with handling it just because it's a bit melted. Yeah, so you can see actually it's a 5 by 3 bar, so a fifth of this, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So a fifth is quite hard to work out, isn't it? I think. Um, 3, 6, well, actually, no, it's not, it's 3, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's 3 squares. Um, <laughs> dear me, yeah, no, it's too early. Um, yeah, so there we go. So, yeah, so it looks quite nice actually, I think. I quite like the look of that. Smooth bubbles, no tread marks on the bottom, so that's quite nice. Nice smooth bottom. I say tread marks, meaning the conveyor belts are sometimes put on. Um, it's very melting though. It's very it's melting my hands. It's not particularly warm here today at all, but it's melting very easily. So, right. So it's 100 calories per free thing. So, yeah, look at that. I think that looks really nice. It does have a lovely smell to it. It's a kind of a jammy smell, I guess. Um, or jelly smell, I think, if you're in the US. Um, but yeah, jam, the stuff you put on the sandwich. Um, yeah, I quite like the look of that. It looks quite nice. 
And I'll say it has a lovely uh, fresh smell to it. I don't know if it's a bit of a artificial smell, but it smells very nice. And you can see, uh, that's a bit, um, so yeah, actually it's a bit darker on this one and it's a bit light on that one. So I don't know if that's the difference between the flavouring and the um, the, uh, the actual, you know, the artificial one, flavour filling and the uh, actual uh, raspberry flavour filling, whatever it is. Is it, or is it raspberry? I forget now. Yes. So I'm not sure, but yeah, you can see that's definitely uh, a lighter colour. And that one's darker, so I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, yeah, no, very nice. I think that's really good. And each chunk is, uh, let's have a look. Each square's roughly three centimeters by 2.7. Yeah. Well, I'll say 2.5 for argument's sake. Yeah, three by 2.5. Okay, yeah, so a bit, uh, yeah, so you can see again, I've split it again and there's definitely a darker it's definitely a bit of a lightness to one and then the darkness. So one of those, probably the dark one is probably the artificial, the flavoured filling and the light one is the strawberry, the raspberry filling. Just because there's more of the artificial one according to the ingredients. Okay, what's there? What's there? Hmm. Hmm. That's a lovely, um, I must say you definitely get a, a good amount of filling with that. I have to say it's nice the way it's lovely and, and runny, isn't it? You know, it's not a it's not a crunchy dried flavouring that you get in a lot of raspberry flavoured stuff. It's actually a sort of syrup. Um, it's very runny. Yeah. I would say it's actually a bit like the stuff you get on um, ice creams. You know when you buy an ice cream from the ice cream man. Yeah. Hmm. And you put that raspberry sauce on top. It's basically that really. Which is no bad thing. It's a very, very soft chocolate. It really melts. And it's very, um, very, you know, very sort of melty chocolate. It really melts. It's very soft. Um, it's melting in my hands, really, just touching it. And as I say, it's really not a hot day here today. Um, bear in mind, hot days in the UK are not hot either. <laughs> so, um, yes, um, yeah, you see, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's really nice. It's really melts in your mouth very easily. And you get that lovely... Uh, raspberry flavouring which is nice hmm a bit different it's a sweet a sweet syrup basically hmm it's essentially the stuff you get as I say on, on an ice cream it's that kind of consistency that kind of flavour and got the sort of soft creamy filling as well which it doesn't really describe on the back did it it didn't really say what it was and just said um Alpine meat chocolate with raspberry flavoured filling and raspberry filling. So it doesn't really tell you where. Uh, yes, yeah, it's a bit like a creamy, a creamy sensor anyway, a creamy soft sensor. But you can see, yeah, look at that. These ones here, they've, they've just got all uh, raspberry filling there. They seem to have, at least on the side. Um, let's have a bite of this one. Hmm. So it's just like, uh, it's just in groups, so. Kind of for some bits it's like full of uh, raspberry stuff and then it's a bit further in it's uh goes back to reveal more of the soft creamy flavour centre. Um hmm. it's not too sickly either with the with the creamy centre. I thought that sometimes these creamy centres, you know the white centre can be a bit sickly, yeah, but it's not. So I'd say the raspberry is probably a bit sickly after a while, it's a bit sharp and starts to um you know I don't know if claw is the right word, but it sort of claws a bit on your throat, I guess. And uh, yeah, you know, you know, sometimes that happens. And then, so after about two or three squares, that starts to happen. Um, but it's nice, it's a bit different. As I say, it's not really like any other bar I've had. Um, I think it's definitely an un untapped resource, the, uh, the sort of the ice cream, strawberry, raspberry sauce you get. It's never, I've never seen that really used before um, in anything. And it's actually quite nice and a bit different. And the chocolate's very nice and soft and creamy. It really does melt in your mouth and it's just melting in my hands really as I say. Um I do wear uh, yeah and um and I think the say the creamy sense is not too creamy just complements it very well. Uh hmm. we could do all sorts of flavours with this, you know um 
black currant, strawberry, you know, anything really. Uh, I would like to see a black currant one. Hmm. I think that's very different. It's, as I say, it's a bit, um, it's a bit too sort of tart, I guess, um, after a while. So it does sort of, you know, you kind of probably need to have a drink or something with it, you know. Um, but yeah, very nice. I'm, I'm impressed with it. I think it looks, it looks really nice. I like the, the novelty of it. It's a bit different. And chocolate's nice. I'm sometimes not, I wouldn't say I'm a huge advocate of milk or chocolate generally, because sometimes I think it can be a bit, um, I wouldn't say bland, but... Um, I don't know, sort of, <clears throat> neither here nor there, but um, recently I've, I've been very impressed, and this is another impressive one. Um, I think I don't know if they've changed slightly or whatever, but I'm a lot more impressed than I was, or maybe uh, my tastes have just changed a bit. But um, yeah, I definitely uh, I do like this, and um, hmm, I think I'll just finish this one off. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely something a bit different. And, um, yes, I think a four out of five for me for this one. Hmm. I do like it, but um, probably three squares is enough. <laughs> no, to leave it for a bit. Um, yeah, I maybe need a drink. I've got my trusty cup of cup of coffee over there, so maybe I'll have a bit of that in a minute, and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yes, definitely like it. You do get sticky fingers, um, so be wary of that. But I think that's a, I think that's the price worth paying for chocolate, really, isn't it? Generally, so you can't really hold it against it. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. As I say, a 4 out of 5 for me. Um, I did really like that and something a bit different, as I say. So, I do recommend trying it. And it is, um, yeah, definitely not like anything else. Right, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, take care, follow me on Twitter. Uh, subscribe, like my videos. And please leave me a comment or two. I'd love to hear from you. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye.